welcome back to my channel this is Mdeya J and today's video is going to be a full face using high-end makeup so high-end little bit expensive type of makeup some products are gonna be new to me so first time me trying it on camera and some products that I have used uh, so I can give you guys my opinions my review about it so if you're interested let's jump in please remember to subscribe it's 2021 i'm gonna keep saying it it's 2021 please subscribe if you do enjoy my content remember to thumbs up the video and turn on that notification bell all these steps really do help my channel grow so let's jump in i think this time around i'm gonna start off with moisturizer as well so the moisturizer i'm going to be using is the laura mercier the perfect cream multitasking moisturizer i've been using this for the last couple of weeks and i've been enjoying it so i've got combination to oily skin and so i always look for an oil free type of moisturizer that's gonna keep my skin feeling really hydrated but not slippery or oily because my skin can produce that naturally and I do love the smell of this it does have like a really nice luxurious type of fragrance to it but isn't off-putting and doesn't linger for my under eye cream I'm gonna be using the vitamin C eye cream from revolution skincare I love this because it's gonna help brighten my dark circles Revolution Skincare is vegan and cruelty free. I know this is not high end. I don't have a high end eye cream at the moment. The one that I was using was the Tarte, I forget the name, but I'll put it on the screen, which is my favorite. And I will be repurchasing, but it's a little bit expensive, but it does the job. So we're gonna make do with this one for now. Next up is my brows and I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. Yes, I'm going to use this. I've been using this for over a year and I haven't even reached by half of it. I really do love this brow pomade. It's nice and dark, fills in my brows really nicely. And I'm just going to use a brow gel to brush up the hair. So let's get it. Brows are filled in, they look hella crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead, clean them up, do one eye off camera and come back so we do the second eye together. I'm just gonna say something real quick. Oftentimes, us content creators come on here, we do a look and it looks so easy, but trust me, some things we've gotta go through. So this is the second time I'm doing this eye look because the first base that I used for the palette that we're going to talk about in a second just didn't work so i had to go with another tactic a little bit more about it in a second so for my base i'm going to use the p louise base in this is the p louise basic bright in ott orange i really love the p louise bases i class them as high-end because it's not your concealer i'm going to be using the base and it's so vibrant omg so so vibrant all right so the palette of choice today is the natasha denona sunset palette now i've seen a few reviews about this palette on youtube and i know a lot of people said that the matte shades in this palette are difficult to use and they are not lying the matte shades in this palette questionable so you're gonna see what i mean like there's gonna be a lot of packing and blending I'm really sorry about that humming noise guys for some reason my computer likes to yeah my my mic picks up every single sound and it's my computer rebooting but anyway we're gonna be using that red shade and I'm gonna be packing the shade on and packing it on and packing it on and the matte shades in this palette not the most pigmented considering the bronze palette from Natasha Denona considering how pigmented that one is this one leaves a lot to be desired so I'm really rubbing my brush in there you can see how saturated my brush is and I'm really going in 
and I'm actually depositing the color trying not to blend straight away so I can get the full impact of the color now just to blend out the edge of the red shade I'm gonna go into this one which is a tan shade you can already see a dip forming in the red shade I don't understand And do you see how quickly it just blends out that red? It's like the red has disappeared. But anyway, um, next up, I'm going to go into the yellow shade. And I'm just going to use that to soften the edge even further. I'm going back with a little bit more red to intensify further. I've lost a lot of the red already. I'm going to add a little bit of the P. Louise base again. I'm going to use that to half cut my crease. And then I'm going to apply this shimmer shade on top. The shimmer shades in this palette is what saves this palette to be honest because the shimmer shades are very very pigmented, very buttery and apply so easily but well, the matte shades leave a lot to be desired so i'm going to create my wing liner the eye liner of choice is the inglot gel 77 eyeliner this has been my go-to chick you can see I've, I've practically hit pan and the products on the side of the container so i'm going to use that to create a nice dramatic wing for my face primer i'm going to be using the tarte smoothening primer this is by far my favorite high-end primer because it fills in my pores and I don't know why this buzzing anyway because it fills in my pores and it gives me that really nice base for my foundation so I normally use it on areas that I've got really really expressive pores to give me a nice smooth base to color correct I saw this hack on my mama Mitchell's page someone used one of the blushes to color correct because um, this one called where's the SPF has more of like a reddish orange undertone there's also mango daiquiri so if you're light-skinned you might want to use this to color correct but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one to color correct in certain areas just around my mouth God, it's such a beautiful blush. Foundation of choice today is the Iwoma Beauty Say What Foundation. I do love the coverage of this. The tone is slightly off for me, so I am going to mix in the Decipher custom pigment drops to it just to give me more of the undertone that I like so we're gonna do a little mixy mixy for the most part guys the coverage of this foundation is gorgeous yes that is more of the tone I am looking for yes love this foundation so much Can I just say that this Anastasia Beverly Hills A30 brush is freaking good. <laughs> I got it as a free gift after purchasing two of the eyeshadow palettes over the Christmas period and yes, I love it. And of course I'm gonna use the Mama Mama Mitchell Where's the SPF blush to blush up my cheeks very pigmented so 
still gonna apply my concealer anyway and powder but I wanted to sit quite oh so pretty just wanted to sit under my face soak into the skin that's the process I know I look orange <laughs> so for my concealer I'm going to use the Uoma Beauty stay woke concealer in Venus in bronze Venus T3 this is by far one of the most full coverage concealers I've used in a long time and I absolutely love the finish it doesn't dry my under eye I love the shade and it's just an all-round really nice concealer that's it in for a few seconds and then I'm gonna blend it out for my under eye concealer you guessed it it's the Laura Mercier translucent powder this is by far a cult favorite for a reason I prefer to use the translucent because the deep I believe it's called is a little too dark for my under eye but would make such a great face powder I really love this because it doesn't leave my under eye dry or cakey and it's really really finely milled and feels really nice on the skin all right so to set the rest of my face I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's genius magic powder this says under eye and face for the longest time I use this in the summer period when I'm a little darker but I haven't been out so we're gonna use it all over the face I normally just use it underneath my eyes because similar to the Laura Mercier powder it's finely milled and it's really nice the only thing that is a little bit off with this powder is that it does have a smell it does have a fragrance which can be a little bit off-putting but um, it doesn't linger but the effect of the powder is just really really pretty I mean what do you expect from Charlotte so I'm just gonna use a little bit to set my face bronzer of choice today is the Benefit Hula Toasted Bronzer I really love this bronzer because it's nice and warm and it blends easily so happy that they extended the Hula range for the longest time um, we didn't have like dark skin friendly shades but now we do before applying my blush I like to settle down my makeup a little bit especially when I've used my powders so I'm gonna use the Morphe luminous setting spray I class this as um, slightly expensive because they're not like revolution and NYX and you know that's not the price point so this will change your life honestly I talk about this luminous setting spray every time I love it let me just see how it settles down my makeup like it just eases it in settles it down so I'm gonna go ahead and use my blush and I'm going to use the use the Tati's Pro and Glow and blush and I'm going to use this color it's looking pretty pale on camera but it's more of like a pinky rose gold finish um, because I don't really want to go with an orange blush I'm just gonna end up looking orange so we're gonna go with something a little rose goldy just give me a nice flush highlighter of choice is the Dior um, what's this one Dior nude air luminizer and it looks like this I barely use this and I've had this for a little while so I've been doing a lot of shop my stash guys and I've been finding some gems I really love this one because it's not chunky very very smooth and just blends into the skin I just wish it was a little golden in color but that's okay I'll mix it in with the blush from Tarte to give me more of a sun kissed glow but it's so pretty so pretty and it just glistens so for my under eye I'm just going to apply this um, liner I don't have any high-end liners so I'm using the Revlon Sophia's vanilla liner in uh, force of steel I really want to give myself like a smoldering effect underneath the eye so in usual fashion 
I'm popping that in my waterline, also dragging it down my lower lash line. And then I'm going to use this shade from the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I'm going to use this shade to blend it out and just give me like a smoky effect. I also use this shade to just smoke it out a little bit on the lower lash line. And in my inner corner, I'm going to go in with this shade. I'm gonna put that just at the bottom part of my inner corner, just as a little detail. All right, so mascara of choice today, I'm gonna to be using these, these two. They're a duo and they're part of the Pure X Barbie collection. So I've got the fully charged mascara and the fully charged primer. I've been loving these two together. This one helps to prime my lashes and then the mascara helps to volumize them. So I love to use them together. They're actually sold as a duo. Alright, so my lashes are on. I'm going to move over to my lips. I'm going to use the MAC Lip Pencil in red. We can still class MAC as high-end, can't we? So I'm also going to use the Pat McGrath Lipstick in Major Red. This is the first time I'm going to be trying the Pat McGrath formula. The packaging is gold. So luxurious and even the weight of it, so amazing. And this is the color we're going to be using. It's beautiful red. So just look at the packaging. Look at the packaging. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So this is the finished look guys. What do you think about this look? I really love the way it came together. I think it looks super, super pretty. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I believe I have to give this palette a couple more tries to really sum up my views about it. But in this particular video, the red, the yellow and the brown shade here, they just didn't perform as well as I'd expect matte shades from Natasha to perform the tan shade over here the um, nice warm shade blends really nicely and it looks really really nice on the eye it is, it is a little darker on the skin than in the pan but for the most part it blends really well the shimmer shades are definitely the winners in this palette I do feel like it should have had a little bit more shine to them. They're a little dull and I feel like the base from P. Louise is what's really making it pop as well as it is. But again, I need to test it out. I was pleasantly surprised by the Pat McGrath lipstick. Don't know why I'm surprised. It's Pat. Her formula is fantastic. But this lipstick glides on like a dream. It's such a beautiful, dark girl friendly lip color. Like the red is just intense, nice high shine, isn't sticky, blends beautifully, nice bullets, very luxurious feel and look. I am very, very impressed by the formula. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I thought it would be fun to play with some of my more expensive products in my collection, um, especially the Natasha Denona palette. I believe this retails for over a hundred pounds maybe 125 i did get it at half price during the black friday sale but i know that this palette is expensive and i know that some of you have got your eyes on it or already have it and not in too impressed by it so i need to really test it out a little bit more to form my opinion i hope you found a few favorites that you didn't know about aka the tarte smoothing primer i think this is fantastic if you've got large pores but yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you haven't and turn on that notification bell so that you know when i release a video i will be uploading every tuesday thursday and sunday so definitely turn on your notification so that you know when the video pops up but yeah thank you guys again so much for watching remember god doesn't like ugly 
be nice to someone today and black lives will always matter and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>